Finally tonight, it is my final night at The Daily Report. Two years ago, when we launched Prime Time, the predecessor to this show, our goal was to deliver the news in a way that treated your attention like the precious thing that it is. Not to poke at you or agitate you in order to lure you into watching or leave you guessing to keep you holding on. We promised to say that the news was only breaking when it happened during the show or just before it. Not scream breaking news for events that happened back in the Ford administration. We sought to tell you not just what happened, but to try to understand why it was happening. If the news was alarming, we hoped you understood it a little bit better after your time with us. We are heartened that so many wrote in to say that that's what you felt. And we are heartened that CBS News let us tell the news that way. It's why we got into the business in the first place. The team that puts on this show does so much hard work to make it happen, all behind the scenes. Around me right now is a ballet of colleagues who keep us to time, follow my strange speaking style on the teleprompter, keep me in frame, fix the mic, and read my occult hand signals when I am trying to noiselessly communicate. Also makeup, because my forehead can get shiny enough to signal ships at sea. The booking team hunts for the great experts we have every night, like tonight's, even though we ask for very difficult kinds of guests to find. The small and mighty staff of producers has to become experts at complicated questions very quickly when facts are changing. And they all have to put up with me, the edits, the emails, the repetition. Not so easy working with someone who is perfect all the time. Vice President Harris continues to hopscotch. Hopscotch is not a word in American language. Vice President Harris continues to hopscotch. It's like, what the hell? Where did that word come from? The cleanup from Hurricane Helene, preparing for her cleaning. <laughs> so, uh, to all of my colleagues, thank you for working so hard to get it right. Thank you for the honor of allowing me to associate my name with your work. Proof of how strong a show the Daily Report team has created overcame me last night when I was in the newsroom doing something else and watching the show. I was jealous that I wasn't anchoring. Of course, I'm not going very far. Even when I join the evening news team, I'll be in this actual studio for a little while. I'll also be on CBS News 24-7 again. More about that to come. And the Daily Report show that I describe being jealous of will be here for all of you viewers with the same team and the same anchor from that show last night, Lindsay Reiser, who is here to take us out. Over to you, Lindsay. I don't know. I feel I don't know whether to laugh or cry. That is your gift uh, of the word, uh, John. It, um, you just leave such incredible shoes to fill. I don't really know what to say. I'm speechless for once. Um, but I, I think I do have to mention, first of all, I'm so grateful you being so generous uh, with this show. Hopefully we can build on the foundation that you have laid. But I can tell you right now, there is not a dry eye in that control room. <laughs> there are probably, we had a control room can, there would be 10 sets of very tearful eyes. There are, I know that for a fact that that speaks to how you treat people and how kind you are and how well, beloved you are. Well, thank you, that's, that's very sweet. Um, they could also be tears of joy. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so thank much. You, John.